going on guys welcome back to another youtube video today i'm sitting at a open house right now and i want to make kind of a quick video kind of uncut and just super real with you guys you know if you're a real estate agent some things of how you can get more business well first off you can sit open houses i like to do door knocking you can also cold call um but let's talk about for all those agents that like to sit open houses what should you do well when you first start off in real estate you're probably not going to have any listings so you're going to have to go out and sit other people's listings what what I like to do when I sit other people's listings, and that's what I'm doing right now, is I like to bring a list with me of five properties in the area that are active on the market in case if the buyers that come into this property don't like this property, then I can give them the flyer that's branded to me and say, you know, here's some other properties in the area. Let me know if you have any interest in those. Additionally, when you sit someone else's open house, you have to know all the information. This comes down to bedroom, bathroom, square footage, price. What are the comps? What are houses on the market around this area? Um, what is the HOA? You just gotta know everything about the property so you sound knowledgeable about the property. The last thing someone wants to work with is a real estate agent that seems inexperienced, seems like they don't know what you're talking about. Okay, knowledge is power. The more knowledge you have, the more professional you're gonna sound, even if you're inexperienced, even if you're brand new in this business. And I'll give you a great example. I got a million dollar listing, $1.2 million listing, being in the business for one month from cold calling, okay? And that was, like I said, said fresh into the business um, you know the sellers never asked how long I've been in the business because I portrayed myself as being very professional very knowledgeable right so that saying fake it till you make it it is really true you haven't had a lot of experience well first off go sit to other people's open houses you should be doing at least one open house every single weekend if you're new in this business and you have no leads during the week I recommend you do any type of prospecting that you like you can do door knocking uh, you can do door knocking it canceled listings and expired listings and you can cold call cancel the expired listings and I guarantee within a month if you stick to that doing open houses you're gonna come across some leads okay and it's actually gonna you know give you a little bit of experience is what you need last thing that crossed my mind if you're new to open houses there are two things you have to always do first off if it's an open house one to four, just show up on time, right? That's pretty common sense. The last thing you wanna do is show up at 120 and there's five people lined up outside. Well, that looks really bad on you being a, you know, the listing agent or sending someone's open house. Um, so I guess there's three things. Secondly, turn on all the lights in the house, right? It's as simple as this. There you go. That's half of your job is already done for those three hours. And the last thing is make sure all the toilet seats are down. No one wants to see a toilet that's up, right? That's just protocol. If you're new to the business, those are the things that you need to do. Turn the lights on. Don't be lazy. Just do it. Put the toilet seats down and then wait for people to come in. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I have an open house. I have a house to sell. So uh, tune in for future videos and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.